Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can do logging in Laravel. So logs is very helpful if you are going to debug. So let's say if you are having some error in server side and you can't just you know stop the server and just see where exactly it's having issue. So there you can just log your errors debug using these errors that exactly where in which line these errors are occurring so let's see how we can add logs into laravel so now let's start the video so so logging configurations you can find in config folder inside logging.php file so in this you can see there are some channels logging is done in laravel using channels so here default channel that is used that is stack one so below you can find all the channels so you can say stack is there or single is there or daily is there so all these are type of channels that you can use for logging so by default stack is used so here you can see driver is stack only channel you can see it's single so after that single channel single channel is having driver single only and you can see the path here so it's logging to you can see storage path logs folder inside that laravel.log file so you can see other channel as well that you can use for logging so now let's see how we can add logs so you can see web.php base url is going to contact controller index function so inside index function we will be writing our logs so write logs so this class will be imported and in class you can find there are different type of logs you can write debug info error so all these different type i'll show you later so let's write first info so inside this let's write info logging tutorial so let's go to browser and refresh so let me just echo something here let's say welcome and let's go to storage folder and inside that logs folder and laravel.log file so here you can see our log is there you can see it's info and here you can see info logging tutorial so let me show you other type of log as well so let's say second i'm going to show you warning and the third let's say notice and let's change a log message as well so instead of info write warning notice so after notice let's so print log type error then let's say debug and so for debugging you can use debug after that let's write critical then write emergency and after that last one that is alert so these all are type of logs that you can use for your project so after that let's clear the log file and now let's go and refresh in browser you can see welcome message there so now let's go to log file and here you can see all the type of logs so it depends on your requirement what type of log you are going to print let's say it's just for information then you can use info but it's just a warning or it's a critical error then depends on the type of your requirements you are going to use that log so now next i'm going to show you how you can pass data to your logs so let's say if you are just going to use for informations and logging purpose then how you can send data to your log file so let's write with info so here pass one array with id let's say any random number and say refresh so now let's go to log file and here you can see that particular data is present so let's say you're getting a uh, array in request so let's hold this in a variable and uh, let's say i'm just uh, statically defining one array right now so write array apple and let's send this to log file so let's uh, pass this to warning log so now let's go to browser and refresh now let's go to log file and here you can see that uh, array is present with apple but you can see above one with id it's displays as a object so let's add one uh, key to this apple as well let's say one and refresh now let's go so here you can see it's still coming as apple only so now let's try with the key string so here let's say write fruit and now let's say refresh and let's go to log file so here you can see now it's taking as an object so next i'm going to show you how to create a custom log file 
So let's go to config login.php file. So here just copy this single one and paste. So here you can change the key, let's say custom log. Then driver will be single only. Path, you can change or you want to keep same. I'm just going to keep same only storage path. I'm going to change file name. Let's say custom log. And here level also you can change debug. Right now it's there, you can write in for. It depends on your requirement. So now let's write log using custom log. So write log. And here one additional option you need to pass that is channel. So here we will be defining custom log that we want to use this channel and then write info like similar way info warning whichever you want and then write let's say custom channel log. So now let me just clear log file and now let's go to browser and uh, refresh. Now let's go to log file and here you can see all these above that is not the uh, custom one are printed in laravel.log. And in logs folder, you can see there is custom log file as well. And inside that you can see one log that is just with channel custom log. You can also change your default log channel using env file. So here you can see log channel that is uh, stack here or log, log level. So all these things you can change from here as well. So in this video, I have shown you how you can create the logs and write logs into your project and how you can create a custom channel as well for your logs. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please